So hello guys, well today you'll see we're in my back garden and the reason for that is this, we're doing a review today on the Corda Compact 5 rod hold all. Please you know if you do like the video um, please do hit that subscribe button, you know it's just down there, you know it's, it's much, very much appreciated. And yeah, so I brought it outside so I can show you. I've left it fully loaded with all my tackling, uh, just to kind of show you, you know, what's what I keep in it, you know, what you can keep in it. So without further ado, let's have a look at that. So on the side of the hold all, I've just got an extra single rod case, which has my spod in, spod rod and spod itself, spom, shall I say. Um, yeah, and on the other side, I have got my retention sling, floating sling, uh, retainer, whatever you want to call it. And again, two clips. On the back, it's got a, like a wet pocket for uh, the landing net, or I use it for that. And that zips up. And then it's got another zipped pocket at the back, which I keep my marker sticks and my throwing stick. There is one more pocket on the outside, and that is the small pocket here, which to put leads in. So now that's done, we'll take a little closer look at what's inside or what I keep in it. Like I said, you've got a lovely lead pouch on the side there. It's got literally probably about 10, 15 leads in, some uh, back leads. Um, there's clips on the side, which I keep my uh, spot in. That's a nicely padded single skin. Um, quite a big pocket there so you know you can put well anything within reason um, we'll talk about this in a couple of minutes um, yeah so the pocket on the side on the back on the spine shall I say that's literally got my distance sticks and my Fox Range Master in there in the back it's almost got like a a full size pocket and that keeps my net in there now in the other side I keep my floating sling retainer whatever you want to call it and then on the back of it itself it's got a lovely adjustable fully padded um, shoulder strap which is removable you can remove this if you wanted to by pushing that down on there and you can take that off. I do apologise about the wind, it's just picked up a little bit. Um, right, so for the main compact, well, actually I've missed one. So also along the spine, there's a zip here where you can put your landing net handle. So that's quite a large one. Obviously it's retractable on this, but that fits in the spine just nicely. Then it just goes nicely back in there. Now for the main compartment, it's got two zips, quite a good zip as well, they're thick zips. Um, we'll open it up. And then you have three compartments in here. And it's quite a thick padding, so that's good. Um, 
I've got, let me just move that out of the way. I've got a surface rod in there. I've got my normal um, 12 foot three and a half test curve Nash X series. Um, and it's a three up, two down kind of thing. So you could put two that going that way and three going that way. Um, again, they've got straps, nice big Velcro straps in there and I can get two more rods in there. Now, I will be honest, with these be, being big pit reels, I'm not sure I'd get five big pit reels in here. Um, that's two and that's not tight, but I think that's quite um, snug. And then I've got two in here and that's already tight. So I think if I had another two more of the Whitewood Riot Big Pit reels, I don't think that would shut properly. Now, I could be wrong, and you know, one of you maybe have that um, set up and it works for you, but for me, I don't think that would work. Um, let's have a look then. One thing I would say, it's got a good, nice padded and hard uh, material on the bottom. Now, it does go full length, the zip, but I found that with this being a bit more of a handle here, that, you know, I have to kind of poke the rods in rather than just lift. So if I went to just lift, there's a bit of a, a blockage there, but, you know, it's manageable. Um, now, I really like this case. I got it in April, I believe it was, and i got to say I really like it, but I had a small issue with the side strap. Now, I only strap maybe my retainer sling or my spare rod, and after about two months, the strap came off, um, off here. Now, it's not you know like ripped the the stitching on the bag itself isn't damaged it's just come away so i don't know if it's frayed or you know a bit of a weak connection um so i am actually taking this bag back tomorrow um and i can either replace it with a like for like or you know change it for a different bag um so would i recommend it yes because i think you know if you got another bag maybe it's just a very small issue uh, so I would definitely recommend this bag. It's very good, you know, padded. It's got good full-size dividers in the middle, as you'll see. Um, and you can get. Well, I've got I've got four rods in it. I don't know if I'd get five in it. Um, big pits, anyway. But yeah, so I would probably give this a an eight out of ten for the quality because of that. Failing that, I'd have probably given it a 9. I always think there's room for improvement, um, but I'd have given it a 9 out of 10 otherwise. Um, yeah, so, you know, definitely leave some comments in the description below if you have this bag and what you think of it. Um, any questions, you know, let me know. Um, another good couple of features is there's a, a single handle there, and on the back, there's a double handle as well. Um, and obviously the handle at the bottom um, but yeah be sure to leave any comments that you have and yeah great we'll see you in the next one